This is Easton Jackson, and I just wanted to add a couple of comments on the conversion of ICD-9 codes to ICD-10 codes in eClinical Works. If you ran the ICD-9 code extraction tool, you got a report of all of the templates and other parts of eClinical that had ICD-9 codes in them, and using this mapping utility, you could then choose what code to substitute from to change your ICD-9 codes and your templates to your ICD-10 codes we've encountered a couple of situations that bear further uh, investigation. In this example, I have a template that our gynecologists use for insertion of an IUD. In this case, you can see that the correct ICD-10 code has been substituted in for the prior ICD-9 code. However, if you also have CPT codes associated with the uh, ICD-9 code, these do not necessarily reassociate correctly. In this example, we've got the Mirena IUD as well as the procedure code for insertion of the device. And if we open up the window, you can see they're still attached to the old V code. This is an ICD-9 code for an IUD insertion. This needs to be updated. You can see the correct code is here, but it's like the billing doesn't know about it yet. So you're going to need to go into your templates and update them. Now this template is ready to go. Similarly, you might have to do this manually on any of your templates which weren't updated. I'm going to switch to another template now. In this case, it's one for hirsutism, and you can see this one did not have the uh, utility run to convert it. It's still an ICD-9 code. So I'm going to convert it to an ICD-10 right now. If this box isn't checked automatically, then go ahead and check it. and you can see the new code L68.0 for hirsutism. So I'm going to click that, and now I'm going to remove the ICD-9 code. So my assessment is now correct, and you can see here that it's been updated. However, there's a procedure and an office visit associated with this, and if you click on here, you can see they're still associated to the old ICD-9 code. So you need to remove this and reassociate it with the correct code. Now this one's ready to go, and from now on when it's used, it will pull in the correct ICD-10 codes associated uh, with the procedures correctly. This is an update from the uh, changes that were mentioned in my last video. Thank you.